Well, thank you, Fran. Now, this week we're going to talk about, uh, well, we've got loads of emails about various things, but one in particular here, Chris, about uh, from a guy who's bought a Goldwing. Second hand, it has a tow bar, and he's thinking, I'll buy a trailer, stick it on, and off I go. But what are the rules and regs as regards trailers and bikes? Okay, there's loads of them. I thought there would be yeah. loads of them, there usually is. It's not easy. No. Um, try and keep it simple then. Uh, no more than one metre wide. Right, the trailer, yeah. yeah. Uh, no more than two and a half metres long from the tow bar to the rear of the trailer itself. Right, so that's from, right, from the back of the bike, if you like, to the back of the trailer. Yeah. So if you've got a big long bar on the front of the trailer, that comes into play, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so you've got a little box. Yeah, uh -huh. right, okay. Um, the bike has got to have the curbside weight on it. Yep. Which you should have on the VIN plate. Yep. The trailer's got to have the unladen weight marked on it. Right. Okay. The trailer can't exceed more than two thirds of the, um, the curbside weight of the drawing bike. Right, so let's and say the no bike was... no more than 150 kilograms. All oh, right, so let's say the bike was 300 kilos, the trailer couldn't be 200 kilos, because yeah. that would be too heavy anyway. Yes. So even though that's still within two thirds, that would be too heavy. So 150 yes. kilograms is the, the, the maximum... Cut, the cut-off point, yeah. ...dry weight of, of a trailer. Unless... <laughs> it is a bit an unless, <laughs> go on. The trailer is a broken down motorcycle. OK. OK, and that applies for carrying passengers as well. You can't carry a passenger in a trailer unless is on a broken down motorcycle. The best thing sense. is, just don't have a trailer. <laughs> what about the, the speed limits for trailers? Because I know if you're pulling a trailer with, with a car uh, on a motorway, say 60 mile an hour maximum. Yeah, it's exactly the same. The same. Yeah. same for a bike. Can't go in the third lane of the motorway. You can't go in the third lane of a motorway. Same bike. speed limits apply uh, as to a car pulling a trailer. Really? So it's quite complicated, isn't it, really? Not as easy as you think on face value, no. So I think the, probably the bottom line is, if you're going to get a trailer for a bike, if you were to buy one from a, because there are companies that make them, aren't there? There are, yeah. The manufacturers that make purpose-built bikes. So the chances are, well, so chances are, it will fall within yeah, the regs, won't it? Because it must conform to the regulations. Right. And it's got to be tested and approved. But if you're thinking of knocking one up in your shed with a couple of old pram wheels and what have you, then... Perhaps a bit more substantial than pram wheels. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, what I'm saying is, if you're going to do it, it's got to be done right. You yes. can't just stick any old trailer on back and, and tow yeah. it around. But if anyone's thinking about doing it, just email us and I can send them a copy of the regs. Right, smash it. Then file of the boys in blue. Great stuff. And don't go over 60 mile an hour. Absolutely. Smash it.